A new invention could revolutionize solar energy, and the scientist who created it is a 12-year-old in Beaverton. Don't you love this story? K2 Susan Harding joins us now. This just seems hard to imagine. A seventh grader could make this kind of just really incredible breakthrough. Steve, it really is hard to believe until you meet him. You sit down, you talk with him for a while. William Yawn may be only 12 years old, but he's already studied nuclear fusion and nanotechnology, and now he's on his way to solving the energy crisis. It all started with Legos. After learning nanotechnology to make robots take off, this seventh grader got an idea, inspired by the sun. Solar energy seems underused, and there are only a few, crit there are only a few problems with it. Smaller angle. Encouraged by his Meadow Park Middle School science teacher, 12-year-old William Yawn developed a 3D solar cell. Regular solar cells are 2D, and then they only allow the light interaction once. And his cell can absorb both visible and UV light. I started to realize um, I was actually onto something. At first, he couldn't believe his calculations. This solar cell can't be generating this, amount, this much amount of electricity. It can't be absorbing this much extra light. If William's right, solar panels with his 3D cells would yield nine times more sunlight and absorb 10% more energy from the sun, even when it's cloudy. Which would make um, solar energy actually a viable energy source for the Pacific Northwest. While college students come up with unusual solar cars, very, very momentous day for Oregon. And Oregon unveils solar panels to power highway lights. All these towers have nanotubes. This seventh grader is thinking global. It'll have a really positive impact on society and the environment. His next step, get a manufacturer and market it. But he will submit the idea before his age. And then they look at it and it's like, wow, who are you? And then I'm like, oh, I'm in middle school. And for William's own future, the sky is truly the limit as he promises to take on another challenge. Like finding a cure for cancer or fixing global warming or the energy crisis or something. That's all. William is flying out to Washington, D.C. on Monday to accept a $25,000 scholarship for his research. He earned the Davidson Fellow Award that normally goes to a graduate student. And he said that he worked on it for about two years, and he just thought of it as an extended homework assignment. Sure. I'm still working on spelling nanotechnology. <laughs> I just like the fact that you were looking at him going, yes, whatever, going, whatever you say. I believe you. Great story.